Nice. Okay, so we were doing that whole function relation thing. How do we tell whether or not a graph is a graph of a function? Let's take a look at a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Something like this one. Yeah. Something like uh, this one. Yeah. And something like, uh, I don't know, this one. Don't worry. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, be happy. Oh, it's a bowling ball. Oh, whatever. Enough fooling around. Enough nonsense. If I'm taking a look at each one of these graphs, I'm trying to determine whether or not they're a function. Here's my x, and here's my y. That's not my y, here's my y. This is still my x. And this is my y. Yeah, and then down here, um, we'll do the same thing, x and y. Very nice. What I want to do is I want to test that correspondence relationship. I want to make sure that each first element has exactly one second element. And the way I'm going to go about doing this is the vertical line test. Yes. I'm going to look at this. My x is the collection of my first elements. When this x is one, say, um, that y is this number. So there's only one spot there. This one, mm-hmm, only one spot. This one, mm-hmm, only one spot. And one way that we go through when we test this thing, it's called the vertical line test. The vertical line test. It says for every vertical line we can draw, if it only passes in at most one spot, then it is the graph of a function. And that's what you're testing, if each domain element has exactly one range element. Good stuff? This one is a function. Let's take a look at this next one. Let's take a look at this next one. You're saying, I can draw a line right here where it touches at exactly one spot, but the vertical line test says for each vertical line that you can draw, it has to cross in at most one spot. And because that thing crosses it too, this is not a function. You are not a function. Hmm. What about down here? Oh, jeez. Bowling, not a function. Hey, you guys remember run? A relation R, U, and N. Do you remember which one of those were functions? We can use our vertical line test even on these um, point-wise. Yeah, these sets. Let me see, let me see. This one corresponds to exactly one. Yeah, that was one, two. This one corresponds to exactly one. That was one, oh, no, three, four, and sure. That one also corresponds to only one range element. Then take a look at what happened here in run. In u, my, f my x being one had two range elements. That one was not fun, right? This was not a function. Yeah, that's where it was getting all over town. And, uh, function. Good stuff, good stuff. That's the only one that was not a function. Not a function. Function.